Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we'll be talking about Eyes Watch and a general overview of how to play the Spirit. This is a video that I have done before, but now I have an updated software. So I'm going to be using, um, basically updating these overview videos with the updated software for viewing pleasure and also add in a couple extra tips. With that said, let's get started. So Eyes Watch is going to start with two presents in the highest number jungle. So the placement of those jungles on your board is going to be critical when selecting a board. We'll talk about that more in uh, video four where we talk about board selection. The play style is it's a heavy defensive spirit that will also get some fear. Looking at the summary of powers, it's a middle offensive spirit, decent control, relatively high fear, and then the highest of high defense, very little utility. And that's spread across your four cards here. I kind of see Boon of Watchful Guarding. I know they're putting it as defense, but I could see this as being utility. And then Abductions is Dabinge. And uh, Eerie Noises is Control. And Whispered Guidance, I believe they consider Dahan Movement as Control as well. Flipping the Spirit Board over, we have a special rule. It says Dahan Trust the Watchers. It says after one of your powers adds Defend to a single land, gather up to one Dahan into that land. So it says Powers. So that's going to include your Innate going to include your uniques and also any minors or majors you pick up. This special rule is my favorite thing about eyes because it, it's so unique and it's you'd think it would be very minimal, but it, it's so important to the strategy of the spirit. Whenever I'm using a defensive power, I automatically get to gather an invader, or not invader, a Dahan into that land. And that is, it's very fun to use, it's really cool, and it creates a very interesting... Dahan movement puzzle. Looking at the innate, it says Mischief and Sabotage. It is a fast power sacred site. You must target invaders. This is a mistake that I've made multiple times where I'll choose to use this power in an empty land just so I can use that special rule, Dahan Trust, to gather um, a Dahan into an adjacent land. So an example would be if I'm trying to gather a Dahan into my F4, there's no invaders there. So I can't use this innate to defend that land to then gather a Dahan, because remember, I have to target a land with invaders, and that's very important. Looking at the specifics of the innate, the first tier, it is one moon, two plant, you get one fear, defend two. Two moon, three plant, you get defend four. And this defend two lines up nicely into the typical explorer town. And the defend four lines up very nicely into the town city. And you see the town city... A lot of times on Scot against Scotland on the coast, the town explorer lines up really nicely into most adversaries. Um, Sweden, Russia, those are the exceptions. The third threshold is two moon, two air, four plant. You get three fear and now defense six. That defense six is going to light up nicely into explorer town city. That's the typical uh, city build. And then finally, the three moon, three air, five plant. That massive five fear and then the defend 12. Overall, I really like this innate. Um, if I had to complain about something, I wish the second tier gave me two fear. And I think this final tier has a little bit too much fear. But that's just me nitpicking. I think it's a pretty balanced innate overall. Looking at the growth options, we are going to be a 0 to 1 in reviewing what that means. That means we are not placing any presence on our G1. We're placing two presence on our G2. And we're only placing a single presence on our G3 here. Now, there are different growth patterns. I'm not going to cover the others in this video. But what that means is, is our tracks have to be balanced for a 0 to 1 spirit. And that means is there's going to be these dead spots. So in this case, this 1 or this, um, I guess, this air here, where you have, you, you're going to want to G2 to kind of jump across that spot. And you're going to see there's plenty of spirits that are designed in, in that way. Like Many Minds has those, um, those breaks or Vengeance, or River, and that's just very typical of a, a 0 to one spirit. Now your Reclaim, you're going to be gaining energy and a power card. Your G2 is going to allow you to create a Sacred Site, and your G3 is going to place Presence very far away, but then gives you an added benefit of energy, plus power cards. I really think all of your growth options are pretty reasonable. Um, Eyes does have a Reclaim Loop problem, when you go to four plays, and then if you spam your reclaim, you can abuse that G1. But um, I don't think you can get rid of the energy here. I think it's necessary for the function of the spirit. 
looking at the tracks here, you start off at one energy and one card play, and then you end at four energy, and then you end at four card plays. So very reasonable. The four card plays is about average with most spirits. The four energy is also about average with spirits. What's really cool with eyes is when you play, if you go, hold on, let's see if I can. If you have four card plays and you play your four, your four uniques here, you'll be able to max out your final threshold on that innate here. And actually, I don't think it's going to do that because I need to put some presence on the tracks here. So let's see. Oh no, I don't know why it's doing that. Well, that's a disaster. Okay. <laughs> but um, as you can see, you're going to hit that threshold. I don't even know why it's not popping up here either. That's so strange. Um, but what you'll do is you'll have the, the four plant, the fifth plant down here. You'll have one, two, three air. And then you'll have the three moon. Now this is going to cost a total of three energy. And on reclaim, you only get one energy from top track plus one energy from your reclaim option. So reclaim looping this is challenging. So you're looking for a zero cost moon uh, moon plant. But um, really, I like to utilize the strategy where I rush down bottom track and then um, try to spam and hit this innate because getting five fear a turn plus you're getting a fear from whispered guidance and abductions. So that's usually around five, six, seven fear a turn and um, seven fear a turn. And then you're also killing buildings, which is going to give you even more fear. And in solo, you're just going to plow through the fear deck. Overall power level, I currently have eyes is rated 14. 14 out of a total of 68 spirits. And that includes nature's incarnate stuff. Um, so eyes is definitely one of the strongest spirits in the game. I and mean, 14 is very high. And that's mainly because it's the defensive tools line up very well into pretty much every adversary. And the fear allows you to blitz through that, that, uh, that fear deck. You'll notice that many minds is very similar to, or not many minds, uh, eyes watch is a very similar spirit to many minds. And that is they both generate high amounts of fear. And they also have a defensive innate that generates fear as well. Now, the big difference between Eyes Watch and Many Minds, and this is different from that first video I made about Eyes Watch, where I basically said it's a carbon clone. Now that I've played many more games, I disagree with that original statement. Um, the big thing with Eyes is Eyes is always moving to Han. It's, it's a Dahan based spirit. Many Minds is not. Many Minds is a control based spirit that can move to Han. And um, now that I've played more of those more games of both spirits, I've kind of recognized they are two distinct spirits. Yes, they have a similar innate in that right innate for many minds and that base innate for eyes are relatively similar, but the gameplay is very different and very um, dynamic. And for me, it's refreshing. So overall, I really enjoy Eyes Watch. It's one of my favorite spirits in the game. I also love many minds. Um, if you have not picked up the spirit, definitely give it a go. If you have not picked up the Horizon Spirit or the Horizon Expansion, purchase that it's currently at target um it's a great expansion it's only like 30 dollars, so i think it's it's very affordable um if you like this video like subscribe for more content i'll see you guys in the next video